What's up guys? It's your boy Dreadman Dex here with another episode of Skullgirl's Second Encore. Today's episode, we shall be taking on my personal favorite, Peacock. My best friend is Peacock. I don't love her. But without further ado, let's get into the story. Duke, Hive, meet Peacock, Lab 8's magnum opus. So this is Project Peacock. I've read your papers, but I'm embarrassed to say that I can barely follow them. Well, I'll explain. Project Peacock is equipped with not one, but two synthetic parasites. Uh, Lab Zero has created one other like her, but more extreme methods were required to complete the synchronization. Two synthetic parasites? Regulating the soul contamination must be difficult. Indeed. But with the proper Theonite balance, I think we could graft even more onto future subjects. The Argus system not only lets her see everything, but the eyes also generate powerful Z-rays at the precise wavelength needed to disrupt a cell girl's essence. Hey, Gramps! Oh, the Avery unit is admittedly a bit less well understood. Oh, we designed it to be a spatial link between her body and Lab 8's vast underground arsenal, but she's doing things with it I never imagined possible. Seriously, Doc, shut it! Let's get into the good part! To think, that poor mutilated orphan I found may be the one to defeat this skull girl once and for all. Okay, Navi. Squawk! Wake up, Peacock! The Anite resident detector is picking up a huge reaction downtown! It's her, boss! The skull girl is on the move! Hot damn! Put some coffee on and give me 15! Ready, everyone? Hey, Avery, so did the uh, boss take a bath or what? And what did she brush her teeth with anyway? Metal polish? <laughs> Can you see why I love this girl? She is freaking lit. I don't care what anyone says. Cartoon hit ass. Nick. The cutscene? Nope. I don't think there's many cutscenes in her story. Can I have a cheeseburger? Like, get out of this. Everybody, mind your marks. Action! I mean, there are, but like, I feel like scares this way. Like, you just don't like two of them. I've seen it in the So I'm pretty sure almost everyone has one. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Um. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> See, the thing is, she has a little Easter egg with her, um, I guess it's her quarter circle punch, quarter circle high punch. It's like, sometimes you can get a road roller, with, which is obviously a, uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure reference, which is actually pretty damn amazing. First time I saw it, I was like, oh, fuck. I don't know how you do it, but I think it's good. I'm guessing it's wrong. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Mm. And like her, her double three, uh, fucking, fucking, uh, blockbuster move is like one of the hardest in the game for uh, most of the timing. I mean, when I got it, that shit's crazy. That's still good, man. She's literally one big ass fucking meme, I'm telling you. Like right there, that was a bug buddy meme. Eh, I'm, I'm becoming a dungeon girl. Don't they know who I am? I was built to beat Skullgirls. The sooner I get done with that Skullgirl, the sooner we can get back and watch Glorious Annie's Symphony of Star Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta get back in time for wrestling. Mm. Wrestling. Mm. Retirement. What? Oh, this is a thumb pet on watch you do. Which is? The dog's in trouble! Come on, we gotta get back for wrestling, guys! Come on, man! Whoever it was, they really did a number on the lap! Patricia! Did you hear that? I think I heard Doc Avian! Dr. Avian! God! Who did this to you? Lab Zero. Which way did they go? They fled to New Meridian. Follow, but make sure the others are safe. I know you can protect everyone. I know you can defeat the Skulker. He's gone, boss. Guys. Get ready. Pissing me off is the last mistake those idiots will ever make! Now she's getting even realer. Squawk! I see her, boss! The school girl is right over there! Wait. It can't be! Marie? She's the school girl? I'm sorry, my child, but your reunion with Marie will have to wait. She has important business to return to her grand cathedral. Another peacock? Looks more like a dodo to me. Ha <laughs> ha! Extinct! Enough! Avian's legacy ends now. <laughs> Get it? Dodo's extinct? Cause this. No? Never mind, let me stop. Anyways, back to the game. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's showtime! Okay, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really, what we got to get out? Ah! 
Ah, oh shit, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Not even that here. Oh fuck! Okay, okay, okay. You've got a lot to learn. This is what we do. Cameras rolling and action. I never expected you to be double, but don't worry. I'll be fitting you with a toe tag shortly. So why'd you do it? Both of our labs are supposed to be working together to destroy the Skullgirl. And you let her right to us! As though I'd explain myself to a child. We came to stop Dr. Avian's work, and that's what we did. You really think I'm gonna let you walk out of here alive, nurse? I don't think you have a choice. I'll admit you were almost an interesting opponent, but infected by Avian's philosophy of weakness, you're nothing more than garbage. Double, it's time Lab 8's final experiment came to an end. Squawk, we'll show you weakness, lady! We are gonna murderize you. We're gonna murder us. Time to die, traitor! Yeah, what they said. We're sending you straight to hell for what you did to the doc! Okay. Don't worry. You got the meta as you. Oh fuck. Don't worry. Look at that age. Oh no. Fuck. Fuck it out this world, ain't no game. Okay, okay. That's cool. And we got it. For the last fucking day. Fuck out of here. Trade it. Still got it. Still got it. Patricia, you should not have come. Do not worry about me. My quest is nearly at an end. Oh, please. Don't worry about me. Some hellish MacGuffin has turned you into an undead killing machine. And I was created to stop you. And there's no way you can beat me. So of course I'm worried about you. Look, Patricia. You will understand. Whoa. Is that... him? So all these people are... Evil. From the slave traders of Rommelgrad to their patrons, the Medicis. All must perish. And that's her motive, guys. Patricia, please leave. I cannot guarantee your safety much longer. You know 
I can't do that. It must be taking everything you've got to fight that thing inside you. One of these days, you'll slip up and you'll be just as bad as those guys. Or worse, you leave me no choice but to beat you down, blow you up, and rip the skull heart right out of you. Let's hope there's enough of you left that we can sit down with some pie together when this is all over, okay? Still gotta kill you though. <laughs> We've seen that cutscene a million times, you know how this song and dance goes. Do this shit. I thought she was gonna be a bit close to the ground. I was kinda getting worried. Well, no, I am worried. Cause I that one hit. Oh, it does hit. Okay, I did, I Imagine that, like, actually, like, doing, like, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Hella damage in the actual, like, to go, like, just get in the pool. Well, not, no, 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 I'm quiet as fuck, though. There's nothing I can really say about this damn- Oh, fuck! Okay, yeah, yeah, she got me a corner. I didn't mean to catch that. There you go. The show's over. No mercy, Miss Pierce. Thank you, Lonesome Lenny. Told you I'd win. But I appreciate you trying to put up a fight. Now, about the skull part. <laughs> Who needs wishes? I'm already the strongest there is. Destroy that bitch right in her mouth. Child, do you really think this is over? Right, Marie? Right, Patricia. I'm sorry I ran away that day. You stood up for us, and I ran. When I found the skull heart, I thought maybe I could make things right and punish the people that did that to you. We're good. You'll always be my friend. Got it? That makes me... happy. Tell you what. I'll pick up where you left off. Now that I beat you, saved the day, and it's rerun season, I don't have much to do. So why not? Well, that, and bloodying those mafia fools sounds like a hoot. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Patricia. It was good seeing you. One last time. Then there were two. Then there were two. Oh, no. oh, what the fuck was that at the beginning? Rumors were true. Geiger's resorted to experimenting on children now. My, how the mighty have fallen. I'm really surprised she's had a play of kick. I don't want to rush you, but let's get this over with already. I've been slaughtering your goons all night. I'm missing my stories, and I need my beauty. Then let me tuck you in for your final bedtime. Black Delano. But that is the end of this episode, guys. Oh my goodness. This uh, this this game is really good. I freaking love it. Like, I've fallen in love with it ever since the very beginning. We're not even halfway done with it, either. I still haven't- I also don't know if I'm gonna do the trials yet. Well, the challenges yet. But we're gonna- we're probably gonna do those anyway. But those are probably gonna be like an, a separate series of, like, events. 
But while we, but this <laughs> video has reached its conclusion. Hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Dreadman Dex here, signing off to you guys. See ya!